guys. Make sure Welcome you look here. Welcome to our channels. <laughs> Are you I'm, recording? I'm gonna edit that in. <laughs> we got the chance to try out sensory deprivation tanks and vlog the whole thing, so if that's something that you've ever been interested in, then definitely keep on watching to see what the experience is like. So we were invited by Total Zen Float in Orlando, Florida to come check out and try their Epsom salt float tanks where it's completely dark and it's super saturated with salt so you just float in the dark and the water goes over your ears and you just lose all five of your senses and you have nothing but like your thoughts. Is that... Why is it not working? I have no idea what to expect. What about you, girl? I have no clue what it even is, to be honest. <laughs> uh, we, I just said yes to come. Yeah, we are naturally very anxious people. Um, it's supposed to help with anxiety. That's pretty much all that I know. I have heard of people having almost like psychedelic effects from them, but I don't believe that. And people that I've asked recently in my personal life about it, they said that that's not true. It actually started where I followed their meme page called, um, what the heck is it called? Like Float Universe or something? It's really? like a bunch of like hippie memes, which I found hilarious. That's and, right up your alley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the owner of that meme page also owns the sensory deprivation tanks, and he hit me up. He was like, hey, uh, you live in Central Florida. Do you want to come through? And I was like, only if my friend can come. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically all I know about it. So she sent me Instagram. I looked at it, but then I was like, no, I want this to be a proper first impression. So I don't even know like what it is. I think we're going to lay in the tank with water. Yeah, that's about the we're supposed to of what I know. We're supposed to not be able to use any of our senses. Like, is it gonna be quiet or like? like so basically, what I know is that you're giving, you're getting completely sensory deprived. Like, the temperature of the water is gonna be the temperature of your body, so you can't really like feel. And then the water is surrounding your ears, so you can't hear. And it's dark, so you can't see. And then I guess there's no smell, you can't smell. And then. So you're pretty much like alone with your thoughts, but it's supposed to be like just, you're, and you're floating because it's in like very buoyant Epsom oh. salt saturated water, and you're just kind of like floating. Easy to well, say. I, I'm missing one of the senses. Continue. Taste. Uh, you could taste the salt if you, if you like needed to like that ground yourself. Just, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> Welcome to and Float. Damn. So, true. We're gonna have to measure that. <laughs> if that is true, I might live here for the next three weeks, okay? <laughs> is it possible to just live in one of these tanks? Yes, you have to eat them, eat them. <laughs> Welcome to Total Zen Float. So this is the Oasis Float Room, like I said before. We have two tanks here. Uh, this is more of a head tank. This is more of a psychedelic tank. This is more of a very powerful floating, soulful tank. Versus the other one we have in the back, which is more of athletic. A lot of people are a little bit afraid of this tank when they come here because they judge a book by its cover and they see this tank like, oh, the claustrophobia, oh, I'm scared, it looks very dark, oh, there's no light, blah, 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 blah. They go in the other tank, they like that tank, that tank's a great tank in the back, they become members here, and then they get the chance or they get thrown in by destiny to get into this tank and they end up loving it and reserving this tank every time. So you're telling me I can stay here for eight hours? You, that's the maximum the state will legally allow me to service a client, yes. What if I spend eight hours in the tank, then I go out and eat, and then I come back. You'll be fine. You'll be extremely relaxed. But let's put it like this. It should be a very uh, normal piece of dry spaghetti to be super al dente. <laughs> Man, you're done. Yeah, that's perfect, because I, like. I live for pasta. Uh, why don't you have to choose which is going to be in the Genesis tank, like I was saying before, this is more of a therapeutic type experience. It's very simple. We're not going to overthink things. First rule is no expectations. I don't know what you saw on Joe Rogan or on my Instagram account or anything, but no expectations here. At the end of the day, you're, just laying, you're laying in a thousand pounds of Epsom salts. Your Wait, there's thousand pounds in there? Thousand pounds of and salts. Super saturated. Because we start off with the earplugs, the earplugs are going to do a few things. First, they're going to keep the caps and salt out. Quick rinse. Most important rule you got your earplugs in, you got your quick rinse. We're getting all the makeup, all the body lotion, all that stuff off. You want to take that into the tank. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to use the towel here and make sure no matter what this is the if you remember anything before you get in that tank make sure your face is extremely dry why because once we're committed to laying backwards if it's sweaty if we're hot that's why don't take too hot of a shower don't touch your face because once it has salt hits your eyes game over you're going to step over and in and once you're in you're going to pull down on the lid as you sit down and go backwards into the tank right once you're in you're going to go backwards this way boom like that the light's over here. This one's actually going to wake you up with the light when it's over. 
Okay. So it then, tells you when that hour yeah. is over. When the hour is over, the light's gonna come back on. You're gonna lay back with the blade just like this and relax. Hold your arms against the side of the tank to let the water become still so you're not dripping against the side once you're in. And is it better to lay like she's kind of scared? Right. Just work with it. My tank is supposed to be more psychedelic-y experience. Groves is more therapeutic. His, hers is like the pretty one. Looks like a futuristic sleeping pod. One hour later. What did you think? Is it a positive experience? Oh, 100%. Yeah. It was nothing like I thought it would be. Even though I didn't have too many expectations. Yeah. But it was just like a weird feeling, but it was great. And it's, you're kind of like, trapped in your own thoughts, which was good. It was yeah. kind of what I needed. So clearly we're very relaxed <laughs> right now after that. I told them that I'm really like into meditation and they told me it was gonna be the best meditative experience that I've ever had. I would say that it was definitely up there um, because the temperature, the water is the temperature of your body. You have a hard time of feeling where your body ends and where the water mm -hmm. starts. Just, you know, you're in there for a while and you kind of lose track of time. You have no senses really available to you. You're just there with your thoughts. And it felt like, honestly, the closest thing that I can imagine it being is like you were a fetus. <laughs> like you're just like suspended in amniotic fluid. And it was a weird feeling. I was <laughs> like floating, but you don't understand. Like for the longest time, I thought I was like floating, like turning. I couldn't understand how the I was yeah. yeah. So for the longest time, I was like, am I turning? Like, am I turning inside this thing? And then I suddenly actually hit the side. And I was like, oh, I'm not turning. I'm just like probably like wobbling a little bit. Mm -hmm. You basically just become a being of thoughts. Like you don't have yeah. a body anymore. And I have, like, when I try to meditate, I often feel like I'm not able to, like, keep the focus. But when you're in that little tank, like, there, there's nothing that can really distract you. It's only you. So you kind of get forced to actually, like, stay more in your own thoughts. Mm -hmm. You're, like, forced to be present because there's yeah. nothing else For to an hour, on that's to. all you have. Yeah. And you have no idea how long the time going by is. Yeah. Like, I kept thinking, has it been five minutes? Has it been 20? Has it been 40? Like, I have no idea. Yeah. So, it's all dark in there too. So like right before the yeah, light yeah. on my thing came on, I was like, did I forget about me? Like, have I, I get the, I get the, yeah, I like, forgot about me. <laughs> did they just lock up and leave? They're like, <laughs> I've been here for eight hours. Like this is, something's weird. It was a very positive experience, super relaxing. Um, and because it is Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfate, it like absorbs into your skin and actually like oh, rehydrates nice. you a bunch. So I definitely recommend floating i recommend going to total zen float if you have the chance to go in orlando florida comment below if you've ever been in a float tank how your experience was or if you want to try one why you want to try it so we're going to link both youtube channels below thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't already liked this video